I am Mike Stanton. It's July 14th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Grant, thanks for being here this week. Hey, Mike. Before we get into the headlines from the market and uh, economic conditions around the country, uh, this is the most important week of the year. Uh, we pub, uh, received our annual report from S&P Global Ratings. BAM was affirmed at a double A rating with a stable outlook. And that report is now available on BAM's website. Uh, links to it will be available in our weekly update uh, newsletter on Monday. If you're not subscribed to the weekly update newsletter, we uh, encourage you to go to BAM's website and uh, sign up for uh, a weekly recap of all the news as well as upcoming transactions. So uh, great news uh, from S&P this week. A really interesting report. I encourage people to take a look. It's uh, a pretty uh, pretty quick read, but uh, tells you what BAM's all about. So with that, Grant, uh, now let's talk about the marketplace. Uh, coming off of last week's uh, kind of significant economic news in a quiet market, you had more liquidity this week, some more news on the inflation front. How did uh, buyers respond? Yeah, it was good news in the, in the markets also this week. So you had inflation numbers continue uh, to improve uh, and led to a bullish week for financial assets. Uh, CPI rose 3% in June uh, from a year ago, uh, the slowest rate in more than two years. And core CPI, uh, which excludes food and energy, advanced 4.8%. Uh, and, and that's the slowest since uh, late 2021. So you know, that's still well above the Fed's target, but um, uh, but you know definitely getting some uh, improvement there. So the surprisingly good report probably isn't enough to stop the Fed from uh, hiking rates again uh, this month, which will be the 11th uh, straight uh, uh, positive rate hike. And, and uh, they clearly have accomplished um, their goal of bringing policy into kind of sufficiently, you know, restrictive territory. So uh, Muni's followed suit. They rallied uh, this week, however, kind of underperformed treasuries a little bit, which is typical. Uh, fund flows in municipals have been slightly uh, negative recently, and the calendars picked up. So, so I think those conditions probably help uh, contribute to the underperformance. Um, next week, we're looking at about eight and a half billion after almost a ten billion dollar week this week. So, uh, the uh, lots of um, lots of activity with issuers as. You know, we've gone through a period here where rates have been a little bit less volatile. It's been a much uh, friendlier uh, environment on the new issue side. So uh, next week, uh, we'll see 1.1 billion New York TFA. Uh, we'll also, uh, there's 900 million of a Cal State University deal. And uh, the strongest sector uh, performance-wise for Muni has been in um, in the airport, uh, general airport revs. And and there will be two deals this week to help uh, to kind of take advantage of that Salt Lake uh, City Airport uh, and also DFW Airport. And looking ahead to next week in uh, the BAM insured calendar, two transactions stand out. Uh, City of Irvine uh, Community Facilities District, another uh, part of the investment in the Great Park redevelopment in Orange County, California. That's a $94 million transaction that's going to be priced by Stiefel. And Fond du Lac County, Wisconsin, has a transaction as a taxable revenue bond for Bug Tussle Wireless. Uh, it's an interesting story about broadband investment in rural Wisconsin. That's a $58 million transaction that'll be insured by UBS. And we have a BAM Credit Insights video on that transaction. I just spoke with Gia Calabrese from our East Region Public Finance Group a little bit earlier today uh, to really walk through that transaction, how the municipal uh, governments, uh, several counties in Wisconsin have teamed together to back that transaction uh, to help bring wireless service to their residents. So it's a good transaction, interesting story, particularly as we expect to see more broadband investment around the country. This might be an, an early wave of, uh, of a new uh, paradigm there. So thanks for your time uh, today, Grant. Anything else uh, before we move to close up? I think that's it. We'll see you next week. Very good. Bye. Thanks, Mike.